Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profootic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress with jQuery tutorial for beginners and this is our part 9. In this video session guys, we will discuss about that how can we implement sortable of jQuery UI in WordPress. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions of this playlist to get the clear concept about implementing sortable feature. So basically guys in this playlist so far we have completed several things of jQuery UI in our WordPress. So what we have completed so far. So this is the plugin. This is the plugin that we have made inside the whole playlist of jQuery UI tutorial with WordPress. So these are the things that we have seen about the feature of accordion, autocomplete, date picker, dialogue and so many more. Okay, so if this is your first video session, then I strongly suggest you to go to YouTube. Inside Online Web Tutor, you will find a playlist something like here how to use jQuery UI with WordPress. Okay, so we have discussed all the features of jQuery UI with WordPress. So basically, in this video session, we are going to discuss about one of the more feature of jQuery UI is something called sortable. So basically, sortable is used to reorder elements in a list or a grid using the mouse. Okay, so something this is the list. Okay, where we have some items, something like that. Item one, item two, so on up to item seven. Okay, so if we want to implement this feature, what basically this feature tells us that if we want to drag this item two value to the upper position, so just I'm going to click on the mouse and let me move that. If I want the item one at the last position, so just click on that, drag and drop at the last position. So this is called the sortable feature. According to our need, if we want to customize our listing, if we want to reorder our listing, so we can implement by using the sortable feature of jQuery UI. Okay. So if we scroll down, just click on view source. So basically this is the snippet of code actually jQuery UI provides. So by the help of this method means sortable method, we can actually implement the sortable feature in our WordPress. Okay. So basically guys, as we know that WordPress provides each and every library individually for each features of jQuery UI. Okay. So if you go to the documentation of WP increase script, let me search for the sortable feature. Okay. So this is the library that we have to include to use the sortable feature. Okay. So just I'm going to copy this library just back to editor this is the plugin so far that we de have developed inside this playlist okay so just scroll down this is the function that we have made for our jjavascript file inclusion okay so let me comment out that because this is the library that we have included in our previous video session where we have seen about the draggable feature okay so let's say wp in script. Inside WP in script function, we have to pass this parameter which we have copied. Okay, so this is basically for jQuery UI sortable. Okay, so just save this file. Let's me make a callback function. So first of all, we have to make a submenu for that. Okay, so just go up. If guys, this is your first video session, though, so might it will be confusing for you that how we actually we are going to make a submenu. How we are going to attach the library file? Okay, so just you go to its first video session and continue from that. Okay, so let me copy that. Basically, this is the submenu section which we are going to add inside this jQuery UI panel. Okay, so this is the what we actually we have made. Okay, so let's say that this is sortable. Okay, so just copy that, replace with draggable. Manage options. So WP jQuery UI, it's not sortable, it's draggable this time. Sortable, sorry. Okay. So this is something called sortable again. So just copy this callback function. We have to define next the callback function. Why we have made add submenu page? So if we save this, refresh this page. Once we hover on the plugin that we have developed, something on jQuery UI WP. So this is the submenu that we have added called sortable. Okay. So next we have to define the callback function. So let's say function. This is the callback function. Okay. Inside this callback function, first of all, we are going to make a PHP file for that. Okay. This PHP file basically contains all of our codes of sortable. Okay. So let's say sortable dot php okay this is a very basic php file so for now if i let's see h3 tag this is sortable page okay just back to ui panel let's see ob start we are going to use php buffer ob and clean next we have to include the file okay so just i'm going to copy this code and paste it here 
so this is the file inclusion code okay this is a constant that we have developed in this inside this playlist basically this constant will give you the path up to your plugins folder okay inside this plugin we have to go inside this views folder okay so this is views folder inside this views we have to include a file called sortable.php okay this is the file so let's see that sortable.php okay and finally let's see that template obgit contains this is a php function basically used to read the contents of buffer okay so finally we have to list echo template okay so if we save that go to browser reload this page let me click on sortable so this is the code that we have saved as a dummy code inside this file okay so just back to browser now inside this sortable just i want to copy all these things like ui okay just i want to copy go inside this file and paste with that okay so if i save this reload this page once more now this is the layout section that we have got after copy and paste of these things okay and the css by default actually it has picked which actually css that we have linked in our jquery ui panel okay so just scroll down this is the css that we have actually attached something called jquery ui mean.css okay and as you have remembered guys so basically in our part 2 we have downloaded a theme for that and basically by the help of that theme we have used this css file for this okay so it has successfully picked the css for that okay so let's zoom that so basically these are the things that we have developed for now it is not sorting okay so basically to implement the sorting feature we need to use the sortable method okay so just i'm going to copy this back to editor open up the javascript file so this is skip.js let me comment this draggable features and paste it here okay so just replace dollar symbol with jquery okay so if i save this this is the id and this id actually we have used inside right here okay so all the li elements now by default it will be now sortable okay by the help of this id we have made all these container contents sortable by using this method okay so just back to browser reload this page so this is the list item okay so we want that item one should be placed at the three position okay so just i'm clicking on that and now i'm going successfully it's dragging and dropping here okay so successfully we can reorder the position of these items okay so suppose if we want to implement this feature in our plugin suppose we, in our plugin we have several products okay and we want to make it reorder okay so how is it possible so by the help of sortable of jquery ui we actually make the sortable behavior of that products okay suppose product one product two product three and so on so if we want to place the product one at the three positions so just i'm going to drag and drop here okay so one of the feature guys that we would like to implement that we want to know that what position actually we have placed the new item means dragged item so how can we actually achieve that so just back to editor and now inside this sortable let's pass an object in this object we have a property method called stop okay basically it's a function so it's a function this function contains some of the parameters something called event and ui okay and let's define this function so let's say the console.log or let's say alert we want the new position of the dragged element okay so let's say new position equal to plus symbol to concatenate the string and let's say ui dot item dot and index the function okay so if we save this file go to browser reload this page so if I suppose we drag, we are going to drag this item 1 to item 3 position means 0th position at right now item 1 is. Okay. So if we want to drag item 1 to item 3, it means that item 1 is dragged from 0, 1 to 2 position. Okay. So just I'm going to drag and drop it here. So successfully new position as is at 2. It means that we have placed the item 1 element at the second position. Okay, suppose we are going to move its uh, th th item 3 at 7th position. It means that position 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We are going to move the item 1 means from position 1 to position 6. Okay, so just I'm going to drag and drop right here at the item 7 position. So basically this is the new position of item 3 is at 6th position. 
okay so by the help of this guys this is the stop function inside this uh, sortable object we have a method and by the help of this method actually we get the new position of the dragged element Okay, so this is the very basic concept about the sortable feature of jQuery UI and how can we implement in WordPress we have seen in detail. Okay, so basic steps that we have to follow guys that basically we have to use a library file for including the feature of sortable. So this is the library that we have to include something called wprint script and this is the parameter we have to pass something called jQuery UI sortable. Okay, next we have to make a layout section. Okay, so by the help of this selector means all the means all the elements of inside this selector. This is the parent element. Okay, so all these elements are now sortable. So, so basically we have to pass this ID inside this sortable as a selector, and we have to use a sortable matter. Okay, so by the help of this video session, guys, we have seen about the implementing about sortable feature of jQuery UI in WordPress. Okay, so if you have any doubt in this video session guys, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day.